Hey, I bet you're like me and you've been spending your entire life wondering how to make a paper brick. So I'm going to show you just exactly what to do. So come on and look down here. So I'm going to take some newspapers. I've already done a few. I've ripped them up into strips. So I'm going to rip a few more up. Place them in here. And they can be whatever size you want, because it doesn't really matter. They're all going to be mushed together in the end. So I'll put those in. You know, if you find that you have the comics as you're doing this, you can always stop and have a little look to see too. So you wait right there. I've got some water. I'm going to put the water in, probably to cover up all the newspaper that's in there. Make sure that it's all covered. And you have to leave this for, I don't know, about a day. So let's pretend that it's a day. Ding! A day has gone by. So once it's been in for a day, it'll be all mushed up into little bits. And you can make it as tiny little bits, big bits, doesn't matter at all. It'll be really mushy. Then I've got a really neat machine. This is the famous paper brick maker machine. Now, if you're doing this inside, you're not going to want to have the water going all over your table. So probably putting it in some sort of tray or something to catch the water. You also don't want the water to be going down your drain because that'll get the drain clogged. I don't have to worry about it here because I'm in the grass. So I take my paper and I'm going to shove it down into my paper brick maker just like that and then I've got this top piece that I put on and then this is where if you know like a circus strongman or maybe if an elephant is walking by you could get them to help you here so the idea is to put some muscle into this <gasps> and squeeze out as much water as you possibly can. When we're finished pushing and squeezing, we're going to take out that part there. And then this contraption has these two little handles on the side, which lift out and look at that. I have got, well, not much of a paper brick. I wonder if that has something to do with not being able to wait for a full day. Use your imagination. If I squish this back a little bit, and you can see that it does look like a brick, do you see how I actually get something that in the end really does look like a brick? So this has been drying now for, I don't know, about five days. It takes a long time, but it's worth it because when you're done, you have something that's really durable. Now you may be asking yourself, what has this got to do with citizenship or even education for sustainable development? Well, here's the ticket. I don't know if you can see on my fingers, there's a lot of black. And when I was making this first brick, I thought to myself, that can't be good. I got black stuff on my hands. I tried to wash it off. It took a long time, even with soap and water. So that got me thinking, what is it that's in newspaper that would actually be really hard to get off? Well, of course, it's the ink. When I first saw these bricks, I thought they would be a great idea to use for fire starters. Say if you were going camping or something where you didn't have wood, you could use this. But then I started to think, what's in the ink? If it's something that doesn't go off with soap, then it probably isn't good for you. So I did some investigation. I called one of the newspapers and indeed I found out that the ink that's used in newspapers is actually a petroleum product. So that when it burns, it probably re releases petroleum chemicals into the air. Now I ask you, is that a good thing? Well, I don't know. It's got to be better than the ones that you buy in the store, the fire starters with all the chemicals in them. And I don't know if it's really any worse or any better than just burning wood because that contributes to greenhouse gases and that's what's causing the whole climate change thing. So that's what I'm challenging you with. If you're interested in investigating what there is about a paper brick that might be good or bad for the environment, that's something that you can do. You might even decide that you're going to paint this and decorate it and make it into a pet brick.
sort of like a pet rock. Anyway, paper bricks. I've got the stuff. If you want to borrow it, just call me at the board office and I can send it out to you. Thanks. See you again.